May your church be united with Christ in his suffering and death, and come to share his rising new life, to be lived and reign with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. reading from Chronicles. David assembled all Israel in Jerusalem to bring the ark of the Lord to the place which he had prepared for it. David also called together the sons of Aaron and the Levites. The Levites bore the ark of God on their shoulders with poles, as Moses had ordained according to the word of the Lord. David commanded the chiefs of the Levites to appoint their brethren as chanters, to play on musical instruments, harps, lyres, and cymbals, to make a loud sound of rejoicing. They brought in the ark of God and set it within the tent which David had pitched for it. Then they offered up holocausts and peace offerings to God. When David had finished offering up the holocausts and peace offerings, he blessed the people in the name of the Lord. The word of the Lord.
gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary of Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. And he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, once again, welcome. It's great and delighted that we're all here together. But I know there's something missing. I know that you can see me. But what I miss is seeing all of you and your cute little faces. Looking forward to seeing you all once again, hopefully very, very soon. But in the meantime, we gather in a very beautiful way, in a very mystical, mysterious way, as only Christians can do through the power of prayer, through the power of Jesus. Because all of us are going through a trial. A trial of being separated from one another. Separated from your friends, perhaps even your grandma and grandpa, some of your family, certainly your teachers and your principal. But in every trial, no matter how big or small, always remember, we are never, never, ever alone. God is with us always. And not only that, as we just heard in the Gospel, we also have someone else with us all the time. Of course, we have our own dear mothers who gave life to us, watch over and protect us. But because what we just heard in the Gospel, Jesus gave us his mother as well. So all of us have a second mother. Our moms here on earth and our mom in heaven. And as our Lord was dying on the cross, as he was going through his great trial, he didn't think just of himself and say, oh, poor me, look at the problems I'm living through, look at the tough times I have. He didn't say that. He never said that. But rather, in those tough times that he was going through, he never thought about himself. He thought about us. And so what does he do? From the cross, where he's dying in great pain, he looks down and sees his mom and the disciple John, whom he loved very dearly almost as his own son, as a brother. And he says, Behold your son. Behold your mother. Things are going to be a little bit differently. And that mother that Jesus gave to St. John, he gives to us as well. A most beautiful mother. A most beautiful mother who loved her son Jesus and loves us with that very same motherly love. And as a perfect mother, she gives what is best for us, shares her son with us. Mary is a perfect follower of Jesus. She always said yes to whatever God gave her in life. She never rebelled against God, never said no. Because she knew God would always be there to take care of her. She always said yes to God's plan. She listened very carefully to God's word, kept it in her heart, prayed over it, thought about it, reflected, and lived it out. She remained always faithful to her son Jesus. When everybody else wanted to get rid of him, she was there. When everybody was afraid and ran away to protect themselves, there she was standing under the cross. That's a mother's love. That no matter what we do, our moms are always there for us. And Mary is always here for us too. She stood there through the tough times. And after he left earth, as we're going to celebrate tomorrow on the feast day of Ascension, imagine the longing of her heart, the waiting for Jesus to come get her. She persevered in prayer. She became a mother to all the other apostles, gathered them all together as a family. And I'm quite sure encouraged them to stay strong in their faith. And so, boys and girls, we come together today to honor Mary, our mother, to thank Mary, our mother, to thank Jesus for giving us his mother in this month of May. And during this 
very beautiful month. There are very special devotions throughout the whole month in her honor. But the nicest one, I think, is what we're doing today. We're crowning her with flowers, recognizing Mary to be both queen of heaven and of earth. And since the medieval days, there's always been a connection between May and Mary. For Mary is considered to be the most beautiful. And I think May is the most beautiful month of the year. Certainly it's the prettiest. All the flowers are blooming, all the trees are blooming, the beautiful colors, the weather's getting warmer, the days are getting longer. And so you and I together with your teachers, your principal, gather to continue the great and beautiful tradition, even in this year of trials, even though this year it's a bit different. Some of your teachers are here representing you, most particularly the second grade. But this was always your day as well. You represent the rest of the school. Mary never did anything without her son. So today, even though it's called a May crowning, we will end doing benediction, giving you a blessing of Jesus himself. Our Lady always guides us as a loving mom. Her immaculate and beautiful heart, her beauty will always triumph over the difficult times in life. So my young friends, those days that you may wake up sad or tired of staying at home or doing your homework from a computer, not being able to go out and play with your friends and do what you want to do, turn to our mother. Turn to our heavenly mother talk to her. And as we know, mom always makes us feel better, makes us feel safer. And that's what our mother does to us today, makes us beautiful. And so we now begin the crowning of Mary as queen of heaven and earth, queen of our hearts, a mom of a special mom. Lord, we bless you, for you are full of mercy and justice. You humble the proud and exalt the lowly. You gave us the highest example of your divine wisdom in the mystery of the Word made flesh and of his Virgin Mother. Lord, we bless you, for you are full of mercy and justice. You humble the proud and exalt the lowly. You gave us the highest example of your divine wisdom in the mystery of the Word made flesh and of his virgin mother. Your 